Miami. You are live on BBC One Radio. The magic continues. Johnny and Denise, Passport to Paradise, tomorrow at 6.40 on BBC One Scotland. Swapping clutter for cash. This is BBC One Scotland. Hello and welcome to Cash in the Attic. This is the show that helps you find the hidden treasure in your home, then sells it for you at auction. Today I'm at Ashington in Northumberland, where for nearly a century life revolved around this place, the Woodhorn Colliery. Now it opened in 1894 and employed more than 2,000 men, producing 3,500 tonnes of coal a year. Well, we're hoping to find some rich themes of our own as we go digging for antiques. Sheila Taylor, a woman who quite literally has it all when it comes to knickknacks and bits and bobs. If you want it, she's got it. Hi Sheila. Hello. John, how Hello. is it? Yes. yes. Good, good. Yeah, this is a lovely day we've got set up here. It's Gorgeous. obviously a lot sunnier up north than we're told down south. Well, I think you've brought it today. Oh. <laughs> now listen, you've called the Cash in the Attic That's team, right? right? Yes. What's that about? What do you need us for? Well, over the years we seem to have inherited so much stuff. And it's all in the loft. And then our two boys have just finished university right. and brought their belongings back. It's all piling up now. It's time to declutter, I think. So what do you want to use the money for? Well, about 20 years ago, my mum wrote uh, a poetry book, My Northumbrian Poems. And over the years, we've sold about a thousand copies. Yes. And um, they're all about places in Northumberland. And Walk, the illustrations. Walks, yes, yeah, she did all the illustrations as well. So she did those as well as the... Yes. Oh, what a lady. Yes. Very simple book, but it's gone all over the world. We'd like to have about a thousand copies published. And we think that would be about £700? Yes, about £700 for a thousand copies. We can also get a hardback edition, and we can get probably 50 copies for about £600. So overall, we need a target figure of £1,300? Something like that. Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Well, no time to enjoy the sunshine, then. You'd better show me around. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Downstairs, much of Sheila's clutter is safely locked behind glass, but in the guest bedroom, the problem's not so easy to avoid. So it's all going, is it, John? Yes, all these antiques. Well, we hope they're antiques. <laughs> hope there's some value somewhere. Well, to find that out, I think what we need is an expert, and I know just the man. Excellent. Today's expert is Paul Hayes, who launched his career at the tender age of nine, buying and selling dinky toys. And although he's now one of the most successful antique dealers in the north of England, Paul's still a child at heart, which means he's never happier than when he's delving into boxes and cupboards to discover forgotten treasure. Aha, here he is. Hi Hello, there. Paul. You found Looks the like breakfast set. <laughs> Fantastic, isn't it? Is this, this one of your pretty. items? Eh? Yes, yes. It's one of John's aunts, I think, isn't it? Yes, I think Aunt got it during uh, 1930. She was in service in a house in the south of England, and it was a present. Well, I think the idea is we've got two egg cups, we've got a salt and pepper, little toast rack, all on this tray. I mean, all that's missing is the servant to sort of bring it in exactly. for you, isn't what it? What a civilised yeah. breakfast, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. But this is by a firm called Grimwades, mm -hmm. who traded under a name called Royal Winton. That's a good name to actually find. And they produce what they call a range of tints pattern which is yeah. basically very close-knit flowers. Yeah. And that was developed in the late 1920s. It actually comes from the Hindu word yeah. chintz, which means variegated, which actually means lots of different sort of designs all mm -hmm. in one. Mm -hmm. uh, this is called the hazel pattern. Yes. And we know that because it's got this very dark black background with the pink flowers and so on on top. And it's wonderful to find the complete. Now and again, the salts and peppers get used or the mm. toast rack gets missing. And to find it with its original tray is really nice. Well, what sort of value are we talking potentially at auction then? Uh, well, these are extremely good in America. Obviously, you know, America seems to be the place to go. But in an auction over here, fantastic design, uh, 1930s. That would bring 100, maybe 150 pounds. Really? <laughs>